We're here in the Michaels parking lot. We're gonna get some arts and crafts today. I've got Jeff with me. You ready for this? Yep. Yeah? Let's do it. He's, he's stoked for this. All right. Well, let's go get our supplies. Woo! So we got a guy film a little covertly. They don't like us filming in here. So here's some paints. We're gonna get some paints now. <laughs> These, these. Let's go with the yellow. We got our paint. Now we need some paint brushes. And we're gonna need masking tape. This masking tape, it's expensive tape. Eight dollars <laughs> for a little roll. Wow, this is still very expensive. Then we're gonna need some double-sided tape and a candlestick. We're gonna put the iPhone right like that on top. You'll see. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, I'm hoping that it'll uh, protect the phone really well. What we'll are you guys see. planning on doing? Dropping it from 100 feet. Oh gosh! Oh no! 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 So I think we're ready to get working. And this is the iPhone that survived the football drop test. Mm -hmm. Now we are gonna put some uh, masking tape over the important parts like the buttons, the speakers, the camera, uh, and the screen. It's important to get this covering right, otherwise it'll be uneven down here, it'll look kinda bad. As well as, uh, well, <laughs> it's okay for it to be bad. This is gonna be very... It's gonna be dropped anyway. It's gonna be very different um, than your typical thing. But if you're wanting to be able to actually use this case and you're doing it to, on your own phone, you'll definitely want to be careful about how you put it on there. All right, we're all taped up. We got the edges of the screen, home button, camera lens, volume buttons, and speakers and charging port down here all covered up. Let's hope it stays covered well. That's not the home button though. That's the lock button. Home button. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, it's been a long day already. Enter time lapse mode. Blah, 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 blah. All right, we are at 50 layers of paint on this bad boy. And it's a good thing we're going to 100 because I don't think 50 would be enough to protect it from a 100 foot fall. <laughs> this might not be enough to protect it from a five foot fall. I don't know. There's not much on there yet, really. It's maybe, it's just starting to go up past the camera on the bump on the back, which is maybe an eighth of an inch. So it's only about an eighth of an inch, probably thick right now. 50 more layers, here we go. So we're on the last seven layers of paint. We're going to do a yellow layer for the base. And then we're going to do a mixture of the other neon colors over the yellow. Okay, so check it out. We've got over a hundred layers of paint on this bad boy. I really, really like how this turned out. Now we're gonna put two coats of polyurethane on it tomorrow. We're gonna give this thing a whole 24 hours to dry. It's gonna be freaking white, but it's gonna be freaking rapid. <laughs> freaking rapid, rapid. Come back tomorrow and finish this off with some polyurethane. All right, and we're at the drop site now. We've got the 100 layers paint iPhone case. As you can see, it's on and ready to go. And we've got another iPhone 7 with the Ghost Tech 3. Shout out to Ghost Tech for sponsoring this episode, including providing these iPhones and this case. Let's go ahead and drop them from 100 feet and see what happens. All right, so. Bam, there it is. I do love the packaging for the Ghost Tech. It's even a little bit of a comic book action on the back. It includes a microfiber cloth for cleaning your phone. Drop this iPhone right in here. Zoom, zoom. Let's start up in the drone. We've never done a naked 100 foot drop test from one of these bad boys. It'll be interesting to see if it can survive. As for this guy, it's a little spongy. If it does survive, it's gonna be very, very bent, probably. Let's go find out right now. So as you can see, we've got some aftermath from the spray paint 
can video. Uh, if you want to check that out, link in the description, annotation at the end. Without further ado, let's take off and see what happens. Do you think the Ghost Tech iPhone will survive? Do you think the 100 layers of paint iPhone will survive? Post your opinion. We're at 103 feet, coming down just a little bit. Dropping it in three, two, one. That was crazy. I thought only one phone fell at first, but they both fell. Okay, here we go. Oh dang, the 100 layers of paint phone is on the bottom. The Ghost Tech won out, and they actually kind of stuck together. I did not expect them to stick together. Uh, and kaboom! The Ghost Tech slams the 100 layers of paint phone case. Jackie Chan, bad guy, grabbing, falling off a building style. And dang, it's bouncing up so high, like five to six feet, multiple flips. But it's looking pretty good from based on the Phantom Clip. It doesn't look like it's damaged. Let's go check it out and see if those phones survived. Dang. It does not look good for this uh, 100 layers of paint. <laughs> now, of course, the old, uh, Ghost Tech was right on top of it. All the momentum went straight in to this phone right here. Let's see if it's responsive at all. I can't get a single response out of it. It doesn't look like it's doing anything. It's completely dead. All right, now let's see if this phone's sacrifice was worth it. Oh man, let's take off the case. What? The screen is not shattered. Let's see if we can get it to turn on. It does not seem to be turning on for us. Whoa. 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 It's on. We can hear it. But it looks like the LCD, the internal LCD actually broke even though the glass was protected. How about that? That is super rare for an iPhone. That happens a lot when we're doing the Samsung devices, the LCD in behind the screen uh, stops working, the display portion, but the glass might be just fine. But this is one of the first times it's ever happened for an iPhone. And structurally, it's intact. It's not even bent at all. It looks brand new. It's just that display. Overall, the biggest thing I'm impressed with is the Ghost Tech's ability to latch on to the color phone and use it to like shield its impact. If you're interested in picking up one of these awesome Ghost Tech cases, link in the description and of course, coupon code Atomic Gizmo Slip for 20% off. So, shout out to Ghost Tech. That's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Brandon and Jeff out.